Butterflies feeding on wildflowers are trademarks of the Kansas summer. Beautiful and harmless, these large flying creatures are loved by people of all ages. They are fast flyers and hard to chase down. But fortunately, they stop often to feed on sugary nectar that provides most of their energy. A butterfly feeds through a long tube called a proboscis. The tube, normally coiled and compact, is unrolled to probe flowers for nectar. It acts like a soda straw in sucking up liquid. Butterflies have needs beyond sugar and they're sometimes seen sucking at wet roadways or even on coyote droppings. This feeding is most often done by males and provides them with salts and minerals important in reproduction. The salts are transferred to the female through sperm at the time of mating and help increase the viability and drought resistance of butterfly eggs. After a recent rain, I filmed a variety of butterfly species probing a wet roadway for sodium. The beautiful zebra swallowtail, normally fast and skittish, was preoccupied and allowed a close approach. Likewise, I filmed tiger, pipe vine, spice bush, and giant swallowtails on the road as they siphoned up minerals. A hackberry empress even landed on my arm to drink sweat, tickling as it tapped my skin with its tongue. It was so engaged that I could scarcely chase it away. It came back again and again. A butterfly's main purpose in life is to reproduce, and encounters between males and females can lead to beautiful aerial dances before mating occurs. I was lucky to catch a pair of tiger swallowtails getting acquainted in this beautiful flight. Butterflies don't live long. Not uncommonly, adults die in a couple of weeks. But while alive, their busy routines add color and vibrance to the land. Watch for them wherever flowers are found. I filmed much of this story at Spring River Wildlife Area near Galena, and butterflies are easy to observe on most Kansas Wildlife and Parks lands. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.